all in the field. Now, the 2019 champ Shane Lowry met with the media today in Abu Dhabi and had some interesting comments on the state of the DP World Tour. So I think what's happened in the last year or so, we've got sidetracked in thinking that 20 million or 100 million is just normal. Um, and that's what we should be playing for. And that's what we're worth. Um, and that if we're playing for two or three million on this tour, that is not enough. Um, I still think that this tour is growing. I think with the, their alliance with the PGA Tour to grow in prize money, guaranteed to grow in prize money over the next 13 years, every year, I think that's good for the tour. I think it's sustainable, which is the big thing. Um, I think having a sustainable product is something that you need to have. And I do think this tour has that. And I think, like I said, we've got sidetracked in thinking to that 100 million is just normal. You know, everybody's throwing out these figures that are just astronomical. And, and I think, uh, you know, as a tour, um, could this tour be better? Yeah, obviously. We could all be better in anything that we do. But I do think with a, with a steady growth over the next number of years, um, I do think this tour will keep improving. How remarkable is that, Damon, that we finally hear a golfer who isn't saying, give me more, that mm -hmm. I want more money out there. I mean, I get everybody wants more money, but I guess the question is here, what's realistic? And if somebody tells you, you know, you're, you're worth a million dollars, then you're not inclined to listen to the guy who tells you you're worth $50,000. So you get why that happens. But the, the perceptions have, seem to have been so skewed here as to what is a realistic amount of money for guys out here to play for. And, and the idea, when Shane's throwing around this idea that's come out now, the $100 million here, 200 right. there, the idea that a washed-up golfer is worth more at the end of their career than they earned during the entirety of their competitive career just seems kind of farcical. You know that old buzzword, grow the game? You know what doesn't grow the game is, is golfers, you know, whining about not being paid enough. And that's across sports, by the way. Fans don't want to hear about the money. They want to see the performance. They want to see history and greatness. You think it, it's a big turnoff for fans? I, I really do. Talk cash. Yeah, listen, l last year was interesting uh, as a journalist and as a golf fan. I get asked more about PJ Tour versus Live than almost anything else. But for the soul of the game, for the spirit of the game, is it helpful to, for, for, for fans to, to be, you know, wondering who's making what and, well, this person's going there because of that? Patrick Cantley was kind of similar even sitting in the uh, press center uh, at the Tour Championship a couple years ago and, and a little uncomfortable with all of this focus on the money and the money and the money. And I think last year was a bit of a turnoff, if I'm being honest. Do you think any golf fan knows what size check gets slipped into that green jacket? in her pocket every April? Yeah, it's a great question. I don't think so. They, they, and they don't care. It's all, it's all about the history. It's all about what happens on that second nine on Sunday. It's all about wondering, is Tiger Woods going to find a way to pull a rabbit out of the hat again? Or is Rory McIlroy finally going to complete the career grand slam? Or Scotty Scheffler's tears on Sunday morning in his wife's arms trying to figure out if he has the stomach for that fight? And he learned that the answer was yes. It's not about the zeros at the end of the check for the first major championship. And I don't think it should be at the zeros of the check for anything. I remember the discussion about the Ryder Cup a couple of decades ago when the players, should they be paid? And, and you know, I just thought that was a, a bit of a turnoff. The golf fan at home, the sports fan at home, knows that these are athletes who are well compensated. They want to see performance. They want to see grit. They want to see tears. They want to see history. And I thought Shane Lowry made a really interesting point there referring to the sustainability of this mm. model. And that question may even come up for the PGA Tour as well. Once you get into this arms race, as to the amount of money these guys expect to play for week in and week out and what it takes to secure those assets of the players mm. and keep their loyalty. How sustainable is that? Because you do need corporate sponsor support in there all the time, long range, to maintain that. And what the Saudis have done is essentially skew this idea for these guys of what a reasonable amount of money is that they ought to be playing for. Because this isn't Major League Baseball. It's not the NFL. These guys are never going to be paid mm. that amount of money, but there does seem to be a growing perception that they ought to be right. among those guys. And that's a tough battle to get into. And it's going to be a tough battle for the Keith Pellys of the world and the Jay Monahans of the world going forward, even long after Liv li ceases to exist, if yeah. that's ultimately what happens, the narrative around the money isn't going to change. That's mm. now locked in. And the, the whole idea of sustainability 
going forward becomes an interesting argument for these guys to actually mint in. A little dose of perspective from the 2019 champion golfer of the year coming.